What's up guys? Welcome to vlog number two of prep. We're 17 weeks out. Today is Monday, February 18th. Okay, so I essentially made a promise to you guys. Um, I want to be as clear as possible and as transparent as possible with all of you throughout this prep journey. Being on prep has been super emotional for me. Um, thinking of my dad a lot. There's just a lot of emotions going on. Yesterday I received a phone call from the hospital and um, basically my grandma has pneumonia. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I also know that pneumonia in seniors is like hella serious. I got home from work. I was extremely tired. I was very dehydrated. I, I remember I was really dehydrated. I hadn't been keeping up with my water. And I got that phone call from the hospital and immediately after I just started, I just got emotional. I started crying and I put my, my head or like my face down in this light pink blanket. And at first I thought it was just tears. Like I could feel this wetness. And I, at first I just thought, oh my God, I'm just crying a lot. And I lifted my face and the whole blanket was covered in blood. And I actually took a picture of the the amount of blood that came out because I know some people are probably gonna be like oh it's just a nosebleed no I lost a significant amount of blood I was actually like impressed how much blood there was so that is the blanket that's the blanket and that's the blood all those little dots like my nose just kept dripping blood and I was like what the hell, man? It made me very aware of like, hey, I'm not taking care of myself here. I am not <laughs> taking care of myself. Lately, I've been getting super stressed out about social media and it's kind of like, oh my God, I have all these obligations. I have all these posts that I need to do. I have all this advertising that I need to do and it's so freaking hard <laughs> when I have emotional shit going on, when I have mental stuff going on, when I miss my dad. It's like I can't force myself to make a post and pretend that everything's okay and promote products and pretend that I'm okay when I'm not. Like I've never, I have never been able to do that because I've always kept it honest since day one on social media. So for me to just be like, hey, I'm not okay, but I'm having such a great time. Like I, I literally am physically and emotionally and mentally unable to do that. I can't put on a front. So yeah, first two weeks of prep have been really good. <laughs> uh, no, for real though, in the gym today, I was actually very impressed with uh, my physique. I, I'm currently doing no cardio, but I've noticed a significant drop in my body. Um, and I can just tell that this prep is, if I do it correctly, it's gonna, it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna get really tiny, I'm gonna dial in. But yeah, I'm actually kind of glad that everything happened. I know that sounds like so shitty, I'm glad that all this is happening. But I, I'm glad that I kind of got that wake up call where, you know, like my, my body started to be like, hey dude, you need to take care of yourself if you're gonna do this. So. Me having that nosebleed was actually kind of like a, hey, holy shit, like this is serious, this is my body, I need to take care of myself, um, mentally and physically, so, um, yeah. Be an athlete instead of an influencer, because at the end of the day, that's what matters to me, is competing, the sport, me as an athlete. It's those things that matter to me. Today is Tuesday. Uh, the next day, actually. This is the next day. I'm vlogging like every single day. Um, my mom just brought to my attention. She was like, Tessa, I think you have a sugar addiction. And I'm like, what? She's like, you go through the Splenda way too fast. <laughs> I'm like, oh. But it's true though. I, um, I have found that I go through Splenda like so fast lately like since I started dieting oatmeal is like my probably my favorite carb source right now and whenever I have oatmeal I have I put one pack of Splenda and I put one pack of Stevia in my oatmeal and I have oatmeal probably three four times a day that's not including coffee I have coffee 
maybe once i'm i'm not like too stuck on the coffee right now i have coffee one or two times a day um same thing for coffee it's one pack of stevia so that totals to five packs of stevia three packs of splenda and then i have greek yogurt so greek yogurt it has i get the original so i don't get the sugar one so it tastes very sour so i need to sweeten it up so i end up putting like one to two packs of splenda in that and just just saying it out loud i'm like okay yeah i do go through splenda pretty fast um so my suit sponsor suits by V. I decided to get a posing suit, a practice posing suit, um, because I initially wanted to get a hot pink suit for the stage, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, that's a little, that's a little out there for the stage, but I still want a hot pink suit. So my practice posing suit came in the mail. Yes, it is hot pink. Okay, so this is my practice posing suit. Is it not the most adorable thing you have ever seen? Just for some more info on the suit, um, I am sponsored by Suits by V. I have a code if you would like to use it, if you ever need a suit or a practice suit or anything. The code is TB10, it gives you 10% off any of your purchase at the checkout. I've had her do all my suits for bikini and it's like so down to the detail with like how things fit, measurements, all that. Um, this guy fits me a little bit weird because I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, I've got a lot of body fat on me right now, so I just find when I wear things like this, my bum just like eats the suit, like it just, it just kind of disappears, but um, I know this thing is gonna look absolutely wicked once I start to get the shreds coming in, so I'm definitely looking forward to wearing this, and my Instagram is probably gonna just be overloading with pink for for the next few months. Oh my god, I- oh my god, oh my god, I pulled it out the wrong way. Ugh! This is what I wanted to show you. These things are amazing. They're 90 calories, they're these little, like, ice cream bars, but it's actually frozen yogurt and they're half dipped in dark chocolate. They also have a vanilla one. I have not tried the vanilla one. Um, I'll have to do that when these guys run out. Um, I'll actually show you the macros on them. So we've got three grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and just barely any protein. Um, I don't eat a lot of sugar in my diet, as I, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Um, but sometimes I like to have these if I am craving sugar, just because it's just a small amount. And it's kind of just like a quick little quick little ice cream fix um so i do flexible diet so i can just count these in my macros look how cute they are they're like just so precious these just make me so happy <laughs> they're so cute i love them i'm so happy i found these hey guys um hey guys. i'm here with paul i'm here with tessa and we are about to go film a workout video it's true and we have the exact same camera so camera was <laughs> camera yeah. he came from vancouver all the way from Vancouver. Originally I'm from Germany, but I came from Vancouver with the ferry and yeah. yeah. Just to film with me, so we're gonna make some cool content in the gym. Now we are here yeah. and we're gonna make some nice content. <laughs> yes. So you're gonna see it on YouTube or on Tessa's Instagram. Instagram, we're gonna see it everywhere, so. Perfect. This will be fun. All right, this is set number three for filming deadlifts. I got my belt on, I'm doing my pain faces. <laughs> and we're making it look really good. See, I got him here. We're making it look really good. Too. We just finished filming. We got a really awesome video of me posing actually and 
as you guys know, posing is like one of my one of my weak spots. And um, just like watching the footage back, like it's it's absolutely amazing how much I have changed. So we're gonna go to Whole Foods and just get something to eat, and then I'm gonna drive Paul back to the ferry. Uh, hopefully, this is gonna be like a a constant thing. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope so because like I'm just so happy with the content we got and just it's gonna be awesome to be able to document the whole prep and get a lot of posing videos along the way. So off to Whole Foods we go. Paul's getting vegan cookies. Whole Foods best. Whole Foods. I am not vegan so I'm not getting vegan cookies and I'm also just not getting cookies in general because Preparation. Because prep. <laughs> Alright, so as I'm starving and I gotta find something to eat, um, I just found these little plain Greek yogurts. Uh, just because I'm really on this Greek yogurt grind right now, and they're relatively low calories, I just gotta kinda fill myself until I get back home um, after I drive back to the ferry. Together with Tessa, and now I'm going back to Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah, I have to go back with the ferry. So yeah, we could have good, good. We have amazing footage. Mainly <laughs> sucks. We have amazing footage. And amazing are... footage and a really good plan. We're gonna hopefully be able to vlog or film content every week as I get more and more lean as prep goes along. Um, hoping for some stomach veins. Oh yeah, yeah. We're hoping for that. <laughs> and yeah, we're just yeah. This is like. This is so exciting. <laughs> I've never worked with it's a so videographer funny. before, so yeah. I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. See you guys in the next vlog. We are out. Bye bye.